MTG Stores, reinventing the art of collecting. In association with GMTG Graded Magic Cards, MTG's premier grading authority. Video production provided by MindShift Media. Sponsored by abugames.com, your complete magic superstore. The early days of Wizards involved seven people in a basement, and uh, it was a lot of work. We put in an amazing amount of hours. We'd get there pretty early and work way into the night. It was totally a labor of love and there was no money in it whatsoever. I, I remember it, I'd, I felt bad asking for $10 for gas money in those days, but we loved what we were doing. Well, I wasn't the only one who thought the game was gonna be a huge success when they first saw it. When I was involved with the company, they would hold these secret meetings I wasn't invited to. And uh, that went on for about two months before they actually brought me in and trusted me enough to show me magic. Uh, my job was obviously to give the game its look and feel. And at the time before I came on board, they had thought about licensing second rights to artwork, which is you pay an artist who's done a book cover to be able to use that illustration again. But I had a lot of artist contacts, so I thought that we could get the art cheaper and have it original art, which would help build our own IP, intellectual property. And so I just started making phone calls and we paid $50 cash and $50 in stock and a royalty. And in the long run, that ended up being quite a bit for the people involved. When I think back on it, it was the days before, like I said, the days before the internet really got going. Color copies were really expensive. Our scanner was expensive. I did it on a Mac, which by today's standards, just be weaker than any game console out there. And all the art had to be sent in original format and scanned by me and color corrected because we couldn't send digital files. That would have been impossible. I don't even think the computer had the memory for, for what that would have taken. There were six types of cards, essentially and land, and the cards were color-coded. But males are our primary audience, and I, I think it's eight to 10% of males are colorblind. So I wanted to make sure that that wouldn't be a factor in the cards by putting an underlying pattern behind the color, which is how that ended up happening. Well, it's shocking to me that this is coming so late in the game, no pun intended but it's, uh, I think it's gonna add validity to magic in general and take it out of just being sort of a obscure game for a hardcore group of players and actually make it a legitimate collectible. Much like comic books and baseball cards. MTG Stores, reinventing the art of collecting. Find us online at www.mtgstores.com. GMTG Graded Magic Cards, MTG's premier grading authority. Log on to www.gradedmagiccards.com. Video production provided by MindShift Media, specializing in innovative website development, dynamic multimedia solutions, and custom graphic design. Find them online at www.mindshift-media.com. Sponsored by abugames.com. Visit us for everything magic, including the current hot singles in gaming supplies to high-end graded and signed vintage cards.